These are three of the Surrey Nightwalker Cine Lens set, which includes the 24 millimeter, 35 millimeter, and 55 millimeter T1.2 lenses. This is my first complete set of Cine Primes, and I'm excited to share my thoughts. Plus, we'll talk about the 16 and the 75 millimeter T1.2 lenses that are a part of this set, but as of this video, they are sold as a separate dual lens set. First, let's talk about the build quality and lens design. The Surrey Nightwalker lenses are well built. Each lens is features a solid metal construction and feels incredibly robust and durable. The focus and aperture rings are smooth and precise, making minimal adjustments to breeze, and the D-click aperture is perfect for seamless exposure changes during video shoots. And as a noob, when it comes to dialing in critical focus with the Cine lenses, this feature is great, but there's a caveat that I'll be talking about in just a little bit. When it comes to optical performance, the lens deliver exceptional sharpness and clarity across the frame. Whether you're shooting wide open at T1.2 or stopping down, the Nightwalkers produce crisp, detailed images. While diving into the YouTube reviews before grabbing these lenses, I've heard that they are soft around the edges and just soft in general when at T1.2, but there are some cases where I don't mind the softness, but there's minimal distortion and chromatic aberration, meaning your footage will look clean and professional right out of the camera. Note that I did say minimal. With a maximum aperture of T1.2, these lenses excel in low light conditions. Shooting wide open allows for stunning night scenes and beautiful shallow depth of field, if that's something that you want to go for. I'm more of a T2.8 to about T5.6. Nice blurry background, but a little more in focus. Remember, the T1.2 is soft, so use when you need, hand sparingly if you're aiming for sharp and crisp. The combination of a uh, fast aperture and high quality glass ensures excellent light transmission and vibrant colors even in challenging lighting situations. The 24 millimeter, 35 millimeter, and 55 millimeter T1.2 lenses cover a standard versatile range. The 24 millimeter is perfect for establishing shots, wide shots, and landscapes. The 35 millimeter is great for medium wide to medium wide shots. You can even do establishing shots. And the 55 is for close ups and detail shots. This range makes this set versatile for any shooter. The close focusing on this set is not great, so utilizing that 55 mil for detailed shots is the main reason why I wanted to make sure that I got that as a part of this set, because I do like to shoot product shots that are pretty close, like they get close in on details, and I think this 55 millimeter will perform well, but I'll let you know in a later video what I think of it. Now let's talk about the newly released 16 T1.2 and 75 millimeter T1.2. I just mentioned the 55 is great for detail shots, but the 75 millimeter is definitely on my wish list for Christmas this year because of its focal length. The 16 mil is perfect for capturing expensive scenes and dynamic compositions, while the 75 is ideal for tight close-ups, detail shots, and interviews. When it comes to price to performance ratio, the Surrey Nightwalker Cine Lens offer exceptional value. You get high-end Cine Lens performance, durability, compactness, and fairly light to carry plus quality, making them an excellent investment when it comes to the solo filmmaker and content creator who are shooter first and vlogger second. Although these lenses are a great value, they do come with some limitations, which I mentioned earlier. So let's jump into these. I feel this section is important because there are a few things you should know if you've never used manual focusing lenses that does not have electronic connections. But what I wanna cover first is the no electronic connections. When the lens is full manual and does not have electronic connections to feed information into the camera, it is difficult to repeatedly dial in your settings because there is no metadata being captured from the lens and stored into the camera. However, there are ways you can dial in the focal length in camera if it is a feature that your camera has and you have to change it every time you swap out the lens. And I believe this is to help with stabilization and lens distortion. Could be wrong, definitely fact check that. But using these Cine lenses are fun and the image quality is worth it. But in the beginning, it will take some work while factoring in your learning curve to ensure you can produce the best work you can with these lenses. I recommend keeping a small field notebook or using a note apps on your phone to track the settings. You know, just basically just write them down until you get familiar with using the manual lenses so you can dial in your settings on the fly without worrying about what they are. I'm hyper focused on this or part of it because I want to know how my image is being impacted, how much filtration I need for certain looks for any given scene, especially when it comes to what I'm trying to create. Number two, the close focusing distance. The minimum close focusing distance is not great at all whatsoever, which is a limitation of this lens set. And I do have some cheap diopters I found on Amazon that I'll be testing out to see if they can help when it comes to creating detail shots with these lenses. 
If you know of any better ones, lenses or diopters, let me know down in the comments. Number three, they are prime lenses. This means that when one of these lenses are on the front of the camera, you are locked in on that focal length. That means you cannot zoom in. I see this being a both a limitation and a motivator because this will force you to be creative when it comes to getting the shots that you get. I'm comfortable with a 24 to 105 and these have taken me out of my comfort zone. But other than that, the Surrey Nightwalker Cine Lenses set offers a exceptional build quality, optical performance and versatility, especially if you could get your hands on the entire set. That's including the 16, the 35, the 24, the 55, and the 75 at T1.2. I'm working my way up on that entire set. I'll give myself about a year, maybe a year and a half until I get all five. But let me know what you think of this set down in the comments while staying awesome. Stay awesome.